everybody and uh, welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to the ultimate racing league with our sponsors w.gg the energy drink for gamers and uh, eldridge air conditioning now this is our brand new uh, saturday season <coughs> excuse me i've started already uh, this is the uh, the brand new saturday season i've just been saying this is week two now i'm actually going to be uh, sharing the comms on uh, this particular um, event with uh, Ruthless Rufus. So uh, we're going to be doing alternate weeks. Um, Ruthless covered last week, and I'll be doing obviously this week. So if you do want to check out the races each week, um, just if you head over to the YouTube channel for Ruthless Rufus, uh, then you can watch the races in between the ones that I'm covering. So yeah, between us, we shall uh, we shall get this season covered this week as i say round two is uh in um australia in uh, mount panorama at uh, a little town called bathurst in new south wales um now we've got three 15 minute races and uh, they everybody's in a group three car uh, no teams it's a, an individual sprint races um They've been out and done some qualifying. Now, the other thing, just before I mention the qualifying, I mentioned the tyres. Each compound tyre has to be used, so that's the mediums, uh, softs, and the hards. But they can be, they have to be used in each race, if that makes sense. So, if you use uh, race one, you use soft tyres. Race two, you will need to use either hards or mediums, and then race three, you will use whatever's left. So, I hope that kind of makes sense. All three compounds have to be used throughout the three races. Um, so, yeah, we'll get on with this. Uh, I've just mentioned it's uh, a 10-minute qualifying. So the guy's been out and done all that. So we'll have a rundown of the grid order, and then we'll get this race underway, shall we? This race one of, uh, of three. So on pole position, we see uh, Osman has got himself in, up there in the uh, Genesis. Fantastic car, that bit of a handful, but a great car if you can, uh, if you can tame it. Uh, Unforgiven, well, I'm quite shocked really, he's in a BMW, uh, which is really not like him, is it? But Unforgiven in the uh, the BMW, Inky just behind him, he's also in the uh, BMW, got the Sunday livery on there as uh, Inky, Dirk is uh, also in the BMW, he's in fourth, Grasshopper is in fifth, he's in uh, uh, the GTR, Stealth in 6, also in a GTR. Phaser in 7th, looks like he's in the Mustang. Ruthless himself in 8th, he's in uh, the Peugeot. Brian Moncarni in ninth, also in a GTR. We've got Pete in 10th in the Mercedes. And Ninky New in 11th in the Porsche. Now, I've been told as well that the liveries are uh, film or uh, TV related. Although it doesn't look like all the liveries have been sorted out yet. So uh, I'll just double check that. But uh, I can just see we've got one or two uh, film, <coughs> film and TV related liveries on there. But I'm sure that will all get sorted as we go along. So we'll get out to the correct um, camera. We'll get this race underway. We'll have a look down the tyres as the guys are going around. Now this course, 3.8 miles. There's 23 turns. Um, quite well known for the mountain section. Um, where we have uh, the Big Dipper, or the Dipper, should I say, uh, which is quite a drop um, up in the uh, mountains. But Osman takes us up through uh, Turn 1, Hell Corner, up onto the Mountain Strait, obviously called the Mountain Strait, because that's exactly where it takes you, up to the mountains. Unforgiven in second, we've got Inky in third, already looking at challenging uh, Unforgiven as they go up towards Turn 2, which is Griffin's Bend. Uh, Unforgiven still just managing to hold on to second. Well, I'm not sure what happened to Inky, but um, I thought he was going to be putting a challenge in on Unforgiven. But uh, has dropped back just a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Dirk is sitting in fourth. Everybody just uh, settling down for the beginning of this race as we enter the mountain section and uh, come up through the park, Salmon Park and Philly Park, um, and then into the S's. Let's just see Osman as he takes us up and through the cutting. Stealth in six. Stealth got the uh, film livery on. I think, is it... Uh, I can't remember what it's now. 
Uh, well, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a proper look at, uh, at Stealth Car, and it is uh, Red Con 1, and that actually is the film that uh, Stealth starred in. So, for those that don't know, our budding uh, actor there, Stealth, and uh, I'm, I do believe that uh, Red Con 1 was the film that he was in. He's also done an advert or two as well, as most big film stars do. Brian Moncarney in 7th, Phaser is 8th, Pete in 9th, Thinky New has moved up into 10th and Ruthless has dropped down to 11th, so not the best of starts for Ruthless. But everybody lined up as we head on down Conrad Strait for the first time, very fast downhill section of this track, uh, interrupted by a uh, bit of a, uh, a, a chicane bend bit in the middle called the chase. So it is hard on the brakes for that. That was actually designed into the track to slow the cars down because uh, they were going too quickly apparently. So they designed this little uh, left-right chicane section to slow the cars down. So uh, Osmond's still out in front. Unforgiven just dropping off a little bit. A couple of car lengths in between the two of them. And there's a go around Murray's Corner, named after obviously the famous commentator. Well, I'm not 100% sure it was named after him, but that's what I'm going to say it is. And that's... Uh, oh, an inky! Well, our first casualty of the uh, day, and it's not exactly in the place I thought it was going to be. But uh, inky, just going around Hell's Corner. Oh, well, I, I, I'm not quite sure quite what happened there to Inky. I mean, he didn't look like he... We're just going to have one more look. He didn't look like he got his uh, tyres on the grass. I wouldn't have said he was uh, overexcited on the uh, accelerator either, but the back end's come round on him nevertheless. And uh, that's dropped him down to eight. It's uh, it's just lucky for him that Phaser and Pete are just a little way behind, but Inky now down to eight. That's so unlucky for him. And as I say, not, uh, not in the place you would expect. I do need a quick swig of tea before it goes cold. Phaser with the Star Wars livery all over that Mustang. Pete down in 10th in the Mercedes. I do believe it's the MG. Now we've got a yellow flag. Now what was that all about? I can't see. So we'll go back up to Osman who's just trying to stretch that lead a little bit. Grasshopper's made his way up into second now with Dirk in third. Brian Moncarney fourth. Unforgiven has dropped down to fifth. So did he have a bit of an issue? I think he may have done because Unforgiven was second as we are uh, into the cutting and up into the mounted section and uh, oh yes Unforgiven just had a bit of a side swipe with the wall and that's dropped him down to fifth and allowed Grasshopper Derg and Brian Moncarney to go through so uh, a bit of paintwork taken off of that BMW for Unforgiven but he'll be fighting back I'm sure get back up into uh, into a podium position. Osman though looking very comfortable as we come through to the dipper for the second time and down we go. Very tricky section uh, of the circuit this. It's, you are dropping uh, going downhill but uh, the twists and turns along the way really unsettle the car and then it is around Forest Elbow through turn 19 and then on to Conrad Strait for Osman who can really get his foot down in that Genesis very very fast car in a straight line the Genesis Grasshopper in second in the GTR and he has got Dirk all over the back of him shall we jump on board with Dirk as we're chasing Grasshopper down and up towards the chase or down towards the chase should I say because it is all downhill now there is quite a big elevation change at 50 odd meters I believe from uh, the very bottom of the track to the very top it may be more than that i've lost my notes but i do remember it being quite a uh, elevation change you can see we've got nobody behind so these three really have pulled away as Dirk now all over the back of grasshopper through hell's corner and onto the mountain straight they go Dirk trying to get into the slipstream of grasshoppers gtr as we head up towards griffin's bend This right-hander just coming up. Now, ooh, 
dirt, being very careful not to uh, bump a kiss with Grasshopper. So through Griffin's Bend they go, then into turns two, uh, three and four, sorry, into the cutting. This is the left hand, and this is where it all starts getting a bit twisty and a bit turny. So it's through turns three, four, five, six, through Quarry Corner, and then Frog Hollow, and then we are at the top of this circuit, the highest point, and we go through Salmon Park, McPhillamy Park. Now this is actually a uh, residential area as well, and uh, this track part of this track is. Uh, is open to the public and uh, they need it to gain access to their houses uh, so uh, when the guys are not racing um, the public can use this uh, this area as we're just seeing Dirk go through Forest Elbow there and then uh, down onto Comrade Strait so these three out in front then we go back we've got Brian Moncarney in fourth He's got a bit of a, a decent cushion back to uh, Unforgiven in fifth. Not quite recovered yet from uh, his brush with the wall up in the mountain section. We've got Stealth now in six. He's actually staring at the back of Unforgiven's car. So his Stealth can be uh, challenging uh, Unforgiven. Now we did so much about the tyres. So let's have a look at the tyres, shall we? Osman has elected to go with the soft tyres in race one. So has Grasshopper. So has Dirk. Oh. I'm going to guess now, everybody has. Brian Moncarney, Unforgiven. Let's see if we can find somebody. Ah, there we go, Ruthless. So, Ruthless has moved up to seven. So, doing a great job, he's Ruthless after he's, uh, after the start, but he is on the hard tyres. He is the first of the hard tyre runners. Ninky New also on the hard tyres down in eight. Inky on the softs in nine. He, remember, he had that spill at turn one in uh, on lap two and uh, again has not really recovered from it i would have expected inky to be a lot further up the field by now especially on the soft tires so he's going to be suffering in race two and three we've got pete he's uh, the first of the medium guys or medium tire guys he's not medium car i don't know is he medium i don't know but pete is on the medium tires and then uh, phaser in 11th on the softs in the mustang Fraser had a good season in the uh, the Group 1 cars, he said he didn't, but uh, he did. And uh, so let's just see how he gets on with the Mustang, shall we? We're back up to our race leader, looking very comfortable, is uh, Osman. With a name like Osman, you would expect him to, uh, to be quite at home here in uh, Australia. And uh, he does look very comfortable. He's got quite a gap now. Good, uh, good few seconds back to Grasshopper. Grasshopper still under pressure from uh, Derg in third. Then we've got Unforgiven. Brian Moncarney's moved up into fifth. He's got by Stealth, who's dropped down to sixth. So whether Stealth has had a little bit of a moment as well up in the mountain section, I'm not sure. But uh, Stealth in sixth, still looking good though. Ruthless. Well, he's all on his own, isn't he? in seventh in the Peugeot don't often see that uh, the RCZ out very often so great to see it on track Inky in eighth still trying to recover from uh, that spill in lap two Ninky New in ninth Pete tenth and Phaser eleventh so let's just have a look and see if we can find where the battle is and I really do believe it is between these two. Oh, and Dirk's got by Grasshopper let's just see if we can see where that happened now it looks like it was uh, on the uh, the home straight towards down towards Murray's corner let's just have a look Grasshopper in second it is to uh, Murray's corner, turn 23, Dirk puts in the challenge, goes the long way around the outside, side by side down the main straight and across the start finish line and Dirk has that uh, BMW just got a little bit too much grunt for the GTR, still side by side as they go through Hill Corner, oh and Dirk just gets himself in front, what a fantastic race these two are having, brilliant stuff from uh, Dirk and uh, Grasshopper. Great livery all over the back of uh, Dirk's car as uh, Grasshopper does his best 
again to uh, take that position away from Dirk. Let's jump on board with Grasshopper as he piles the pressure on as we go through the cutting and then up into the mountain section again for lap five. We are, where are we? We are just approaching the last five minutes of this race as Grasshopper tries to take a little bit too much grass there. He's got away with it. And now it's down into, through the S's and the dipper. Grasshopper's just gonna have to stick with Dirk for the now. You're not really gonna make much of a move there as they head down towards Forest Elvo. This uh, tight left-hander. And it's now you can get the power down. <coughs> Excuse me. You can get the power down as you go through turn 19. Bit of a kink in the road really, turn 19. Onto the Conrad Strait. And this is where you need to get into the slipstream. And as, uh, let's have a look and see if that GTR has got the beans to catch up with the BMW. And if Grasshopper's going to make a move, it's going to be a very late one. Can't get close enough, can he? to uh, put Dirk under any real pressure through those turns. But down towards Murray's corner, this is where Dirk made his move on the last lap. But Grasshopper can't quite get close enough to do it, can he? So he's just going to have to sit there behind Dirk now. We're just going to drop down the uh, grid and see where everybody is. Unforgiven in fourth. He's on his own now. He can see the uh, the two guys up ahead. Can't quite get close enough to them, but he's under no pressure behind from uh, Stealth. Oh, and Stealth has got by Brian Moncarney. Let's just uh, have a quick look and see if we can see where that happened. Well, we've got to go back quite a way, haven't we? Oh, here we go. Now, did Brian have an issue through the mountain? I think he may have done. Let's, uh, let's just go back to the main race then so stealth in fifth Brian Moncarney in sixth but uh, Brian Moncarney I'm sure he's going to be pushing stealth all the way he's going to get into that slipstream so it is the uh, GTR against the GTR I'm not sure of years I think they're the same car as we go into uh, Griffin's Bend turn two for the sixth time and uh, stealth just leading Brian Moncarney as they climb up towards the mountain section now through turn three and four and then up through five six and seven is called quarry corner and oh a stealth just brushes the wall and now up into the uh, highest section of this track the park section and uh, I'm not sure if you can see it yet but if you do look to the right you can see some of the residential properties there's one there and then it's down through the dipper towards Forest Elbow Brian Moncarney trying to uh, put the pressure on Stealth Stealth having none of it really he's, uh, he's just soaking it all up isn't he he's loving it and now on to uh, Conrad Strait and Brian Moncarney, this is where he needs to get into the slipstream because they've both got the same power unit in those cars. So, uh, oh, and there we go. Brian has made his move. He's got into the slipstream. Down the hill they go. And now has Brian just got his nose in front? I think he has as they get to the chase. And Brian Moncarney goes through. A good clean move. Not a lot of stealth could do about that. It was the slipstream that uh, played its part for Brian in uh, in that move. And uh, oh, and Brian's gone a little bit deep and he's let Stealth back in again. At Murray's, uh, Murray's corner, Brian went very deep. Couldn't quite get the car slowed down. And Stealth said, thank you very much, sir. I shall have a piece of that. And he steps up. Now, Brian Moncarney is putting Stealth under pressure now. He's back in the slipstream again. Is he going to pull out? Yes, he he is. So Brian McCarney goes to the inside as they head towards Griffin's Bend for the seventh time. Who's got the biggest uh, Nunar, shall we call them? Oh, and it's uh, Stealth late on the break all the way around the outside. So it is Stealth that leads Brian McCarney again up into the mountain section. Although Brian McCarney is virtually pushing Stealth along. 
This is a fantastic battle between these two and I bet they are both loving it. Let's just come out. We're going to just drop down the order in a second. I'm just going to follow these two through the uh, the mountain section as they go through the S's and into the uh, dipper. And we're just, then we're going to go down and see how everybody else is doing and make sure these two get through. And I've got a feeling that Brian Moncarney, if he can stay as close as he can to stealth, then he is going to be in the slipstream and he can make his move again down the Conrad Strait, which is what he's probably planning now in his mind. He will just be thinking, get as close as you can, the slipstream will do the rest. Now Stealth got a good exit out of Forest Elbow, and uh, he's managed to get himself a little bit of a gap, so uh, is Brian going to be able to do anything about it? I don't think he is, it was the, all about the exit out of Forest Elbow, and uh, Stealth got a fantastic exit, as you saw. And that's what's enabled him to stay in. Oh, and we're missing some of the... Well, I'm getting that uh, caught up in everything. Let's just go back, shall we? And uh, follow what's happening. So, uh, it's Grasshopper that's finished first. So, Osman is still out in front and by quite a bit. And Derg is in second. He's managed to pull away from uh, Grasshopper as they go around Murray's corner. And just as we hit the 15-minute mark, Grasshopper crosses the line, so he's the first to finish in third place. Unforgiven is going to come across the line in fourth. Bit of a mixed race for him. Stealth still out in front. Well, still out in front against Brian Moncarney. And Stealth is going to cross the line in fifth. And what a fantastic race these two have had. So Stealth in fifth, Brian Moncarney sixth. Inky has made his way up into seventh. Not the best of starts for him. But uh, deep breath, Inky, and uh, recover it in the next two races. So Inky across the line in seventh. Ruthless. I would consider that a good race for Ruthless. He's on the hard tyres. He's got them out of the way in race one. So Ruthless across the line to take eighth with Pete in ninth. Went under a bit of pressure from uh, Fazer, who will cross the line in tenth. Ninky New on the hard tyres in 11th. So that was race one. It finished a lot quicker than uh, we're used to, it, didn't it? But that was race one. So just stick around and we will bring you race two very shortly. <laughs> 